Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about linear regression and statistics. This is going to be a brief intro of the basic concept by going over a simple example to kind of understand what we're dealing with here in terms of what is linear regression. So, pretend you are at a carnival and you are participating in this weight guessing game and you can only have visual clues, you're trying to guess this person's weight, what things might you look at? Well, height would be a factor big time. Depending on how tall you are, you probably will weigh more, right? Um, but what else? You could look at girth, um, you can look at if it's male or female or gender, that actually plays a role um, in weight as well. And also you could look at muscle, because muscle weighs more than fat kind of thing. So these would be typical variables that you might want to look at. But if you just want to gauge one variable, um, we can look at height for example. So you can see I have this height weight kind of data here I plotted. Um, but a linear regression, let's talk about that real quick, that is the relationship between the variables of a formula, in this case we're going to make an equation, that describes a situation. In other words, pretty much it's the equation that best describes a relationship. If you remember line of best fit, well now you're going to find the equation of that line. Um, this is for a linear relationship only. Um, so if you, if you think that there's a linear relationship among these things. So this green line, there is a formula to it. Um, but real quick, the height would be the independent variable and the weight would be dependent. So um, depending, so as your increase in height, your weight is going to change, not as if your weight changes, your height doesn't change. So you kind of have to think about that. So like, say you gain five pounds, does that mean you gain an inch? In some cases, yes, but um, mostly if you gain five, like 200 pounds or, or like, okay, if you lose 100 pounds, say really awesome, you don't shrink in size, for example. Um, if you were, say, obese and you lost 100 pounds, you don't also lose height. So you kind of have to think common sense for that. But there is a formula for the equation of this line, and it is y equals beta naught plus beta 1x plus e for error. Um, this does, don't freak out, it looks very similar to like y equals mx plus b. In fact, b1 uh, would be your slope, so note that, that is your slope, and this is the formula for finding your slope, which is r, I'll talk about that in a second times the standard deviation of y over the standard deviation of x. And your beta naught, or your y-intercept, is your mean of the uh, y variable minus your beta naught, or excuse me, your beta 1 that you counted, your slope you calculated, which is your slope, times the mean of your x variable. So again, beta 1 is your slope, beta naught is your y-intercept. Um, so now we're going to take a look on at this over here. So just looking at the chart here, so what we're going to want to do is find the mean of each. So x bar is 67, y bar is 160, and the standard deviation would be 3.74 and 18.71. Now, in another video I talked a little bit about r, which is um, a correlation coefficient. Um, and pretty much to sum it up, you can also check out a video I previously made, but it determines the strength of the relationship. And r is, can be between negative 1 and 1, 1 meaning it's the strongest positive relationship, negative 1 meaning it's the strongest negative relationship. So in this case, it is exactly a positive relationship. All the data points connect perfectly um, for the data here. Now, we still want to find the equation of the line, so let's find the equation here. This would be the slope equation. Um, so you'd simply plug in those numbers, 1 times 18.71 over 3.74, and you get b1 equal to 5. Now that's slope. So um, what that means is, as you gain 5 pounds, um, or no, as I should say, as your height increases by 2, or no, let's say, as your height increases by 2 inches, actually, yeah, because 62 is 64, um, as your height increases by 2 inches, your weight might go up 5 pounds. Actually, it might be 1, but yeah, but that's your slope. So as um, height increases, so does your weight. Now, you do your y-intercept, you plug in those values. Again, 160 is the mean of your y variable, your beta naught, which you calculated to be 5, and then the average value for your x variable, which is 67. You plug that in, you get that, negative uh, 175, and that represents your y-intercept. So going back to this equation, simply plug in those values. So our y-intercept is negative 175, and our slope is 5, and to multiply that by your x, and that is your answer. Um, so pretty much, well, error, don't worry about that now, I just wanted to do a brief intro on how this stuff works. But again, if you notice that all these points, um, they are put exactly on, I'm not, it's not showing well, but um, they're exactly on the line here. 
um, so they fit perfectly, which is a strong relationship. Now say there were points above or below the graph, R would decrease, but that's just a side note, I made that point in the previous video. But this is pretty much what we're doing. Linear regression is simply finding that line of best fit and finding the equation for it. And again, this is only for two variables. You could make an equation which included all these, but that would be very complicated. But there are methods to do that. But right now we're just starting basic with just two variables. Hope this helped. Happy studying and good luck.